Resident Evil. Hello and welcome to Resident Evil HD on the PS4. This has just been released. It's a remake of a remake. Yes. Um, it was fifteen ninety nine, which is not too bad, I suppose, for a game that's of this length and this quality. So, the last time I played Resident Evil was on the PS1, quite a while ago. And I actually beat it quite a number of times, which is good. Um, I did play the remake, somewhat. Didn't finish it, I think I played maybe an hour, or a bit. So, this Let's Play is going to be mostly blind. Mm, mostly. Um, I'll be playing it on the easiest difficulty just because of uh, recording and editing. I don't really have the time to sit and redo things over and over. I do love a challenge in a game. I love playing games medium to hard difficulty for a challenge on my own because I have the time to sit and redo it and redo it. I don't have to sit and worry about commentating over it and then editing it later. So easy is good and it's easy to watch for you guys too. So if that puts people off, well, you know, I'm sorry. I can't really do much more about that. Um, I'm probably going to miss stuff. Items. It's going to happen. Nothing I can do. Other than pick them up a later time if I recognise it. If not, I... Um, the series is going to be a very, very long series. Very long. Uh, probably... Anywhere from 20 to 40 parts, roughly r around a half hour each episode, maybe more, roughly that many. So if you're not into that type of length, then watch a couple, see if you enjoy it or whatever. I, just, You do what you want to do. I'm doing what I want to do. What I want to do is record a game and play it. That's what I want to do. And I'll try and edit as much of the boring bits as I can as well. Hopefully I'm allowed to put the cutscenes in. Hopefully Capcom doesn't show, shove a freaking copyright up my hole for this. Um, if they do, well, we'll have to see what happens. I remember they did a, f did a couple of copyrights on me on my Resident Evil 6 Let's Play, but anyway, let's pick a new game. Resident Evil. <laughs> Maniacal laugh. Right. We're going to play with the display on wide because it has that option now for widescreen, which is pretty cool. And the controls for alternative, which are kind of uh, half and half really. They're uh, they're really easy to move around with, but they're annoying at the same time. I did play it a little bit just to test to make sure it's working, so it works. Let's go. We're going to play it on easy because I like to relax. We're going to play it as, there's Chris, there's Jill. And one thing I've never noticed before, I didn't notice in my last, um, just checking it out here, just to see if it was, you know, what the differences were in it before I recorded it. I didn't realize you could do this. You can change to the uh, super roided up version of Chris. <laughs> Why? What, like, it just shows what happened between games. Like, Capcom, what did you do? This was Chris, then he went to this. What happened? <laughs> There's Jill, and then Jill again. Somehow she looks more Asian. Hmm. Anyway, we're gonna go stick to this for originality's sake. Jill Valentine. Ugh. Sorry, I'm having beer at the same time. Great. Hmm. See if successful, that's good. Enter the survival horror. Again. Again. There are only three STARS members left now. Captain Wesker, Barry, and myself. We don't know The master of unlocking. What is this place? Oh, the dialogue. Not quite your ordinary house, that's for sure. Excuse me. Hey, Whisker, where's Chris? Jill, no. Don't, don't open that door. <laughs> but we've got to find... Oh. What was that? Chris? Chris? No. Chris? Jill, go and investigate. 
I'm going with her. Chris and I go back a long way. All right. You two go. Mm. I'll secure this area. Mm, the cheddar. Stay cheddar sharp. cheese. <laughs> oh, he is ready. Ready to roll. Look at that. Look, he's sprinting through. I think Barry. Oh, I think Barry would shoot anything that moves. Yeah, he just seems like that type of person. Okay, here we go. We have control now. So, let's pick up the ink ribbons. Now, with the D-pad, you have the option to use old school tank controls, which are this. If you don't know what a tank control is, pretty much is a tank. You can only turn left or right. You can't go like on the move like this. See, this is the new controls. I'm only holding the analog stick. So, wow, this game looks good. I think you'd better take a look at this. What is it? Hope this what? isn't Chris's blood. First by impression ever. See if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Let's just hope it's not Chris's. Blood. I love how he just stares at it. Like you could literally stand here and he just, yeah, just play him with the blood. Just put my finger in it. He's he's probably writing Barry Hart Chris. Anyway, um, this is the new camera feature. You can see the camera's moving up and down. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Also, there's this little feature that I noticed earlier. While testing, uh, air quotations testing. Look at, well, it's probably pretty obvious. I mean, if I do this, you have to be looking in a certain spot to notice this. Yep, yeah, they managed to do the. Oh, yeah. Does it work with aiming? Oh, it works. Oh, yep, it works. This works too, yeah. Okay, well, that's... That's that's a nice feature. Anyway, let's go encounter... Baldy. If you don't know who Baldy is, well, you're going to meet him for the first time. I don't know if that's his actual name, but... But I call him. Alright, time to run in here. And Barry's gonna blow his face off. Oh, uh, uh, problems with the controls. Yep, that's that's what's happened with the new controls now. Makes everything all topsy turvy. Barry! Backwards is what forward. Is it? Oh! Look out! It's a monster! <laughs> Let me take care of it! Jesus. He dead. Well, what the hell is bedroom? this thing? I found Kenneth killed by this thing. Let's report this to Wesker. Oh, we've got control again. I was literally just gonna take a sip of beer there. All right, let's go. You see, this is the problem with this this new controls game, right? I'm pressing to go down this way, to go down this way. I'm pressing down on the analog stick, right? So. While I continue down here, if I stop moving, if I press down again, it takes me back. So you have to literally really quickly press up. Then it makes your character do this weird like, like thing. So yeah. Oh, what the fuck? Huh, don't remember that. Sorry if you hear me writhing and peeing there. I have like a really Wesker! bad back at the moment. Jill, help me look for him. Let's not leave this <clears> hole. <throat> Good idea. Alrighty. 
should really buy a small, like, sort of desk thing for me. Just for my beer. And we, yep, there is the thing doing again. We just run around here. Epidet, what is these gates anyway? Like, I've never seen these before. What is this? Better finish shirt. Okay. Well, we'll come back to that and see if it's unlocked. Barry. Any luck, Jill? No, nothing. What's going on around here? I can't figure it out. Same here. Chris, and now Wesker. There's not much we can do. We can search for him separately. I'll investigate the dining room again. Okay, then. Cool. I'll try the door on the other side. <sighs> this mansion is gigantic. We could easily get lost. Let's start from the first floor. Okay. Oh! I almost forgot. It's a lockpick. You'd make better use of it. You are the master of unlocking. Oh, them lines. Thanks. I may need it. Listen. If something happens, let's meet up in this hall. Got it? Okay. Right. We have control again, thankfully. Um. Oh, yes. Uh, one thing I do remember about this remake is don't open the front door ever unless you feel like a real challenge because if you open the front door in the first game the ps1 game all that happens is you get a little cutscene thing which is pretty scary at the same time and the door slams shut and then you're back here again if you open it in this one you get a cutscene and you let a dog in so and it will follow you all the way around here and i don't have enough ammo to take out a dog so i'm not gonna open that anyway i have to go in there here as he said yeah here we go now we have to get this the music in this room always fucking just creep me out Alright, push this. Actually makes much more sense now for it to be a chest of drawers not rather than a ladder. I suppose. Alright, so now we get the map of the first floor. The weight. Cool. Yep, I know I got the map of the first floor. I picked it up. I am aware of that. Now we have to go... Oh, I always do that. And we pick up... The new thing, which is the uh, defense items. Don't need to read all that. Sorry, I'm burping so much. This beer is delicious. Oh, zombie number two. Now, I have not been successfully able. Wait a minute. I've not been able to successfully dodge him. Uh, yes, there we go. We just did it. Haha, <laughs> sweet. Right. Let's push this back. Try and block him in. Oh, we're not going to make it in time. Oh, he's going to be out. Is he going to make it out? Don't make it out, don't make it out, don't make it out. Yes. You're fucked, bio. Haha. <laughs> oh, he nearly grabbed me there. <laughs> Right, that's that. Right, we're back in this room. Um, we have to go and see Barry again, who has probably now disappeared. Just a wee quick thing. Um, oh yeah, we'll check down there in a second. Um, yeah. Oh, had a brain fart there. Um. Yes, sorry for the lack of videos, if you're one of these people that actually watch my videos. Um, I have been promoted in work, and I'm now supervisor, so I don't have the time, pretty much, as I used to, to record, edit, and all that stuff. So, when they happen, video or when videos happen, they happen. I try and do it as much as I can, so let's see what... Let's go... Oh, oh my god, that's creepy. Nope. I don't wonder what's down there. So, I suspect that probably come into play later. Whatever's down there. We're not going up.
I don't remember the correct route from the old game, the PS1 game. I certainly don't remember much about the uh, GameCube one, other than the fact that you have to go to the graveyard at some point and that's it. That's as far as I remember. So, there's the bio. He's back alive again somehow. Somehow Barry's Magnum did not kill him. So, we'll just, yeah, pick that up. Video film thing. Alright. Why is my axe button not working? Hello? Oh, there we go. Must have been stuck. Right. I t I'll say one thing. See this game? My god, have they got the atmosphere down. This... Oh, Jesus. This is what we need. Oh, 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 oh. I got ammo. I, uh, the controls. <laughs> yeah. We need this. For like... What was I saying? Yes, we need this for Resident Evil 2. How cool would that be if we had like a Resident Evil 2... I'm going to leave this one. Um, remake. That would be so cool, wouldn't it? If RE2 was done like this. Damn, that'd be cool. Alright, in we go. Forget what's in here. More beer, that's what. Alright. Oh, herbs. I'm gonna take two herbs. I'm gonna combine one. Look at me playing this like a pro. <laughs> I'm not a pro at this. Not. That's one thing. I'm gonna have to conserve as much ammo as possible. Although that probably won't be the case. I'll probably end up blasting. Oops. Oh, I see him. See him in the mirror. Oh. Whoa. Holy shit. Did not expect him. Wow. First shot fired. Alright, is he going to get back up again? Alright, now he's going to come for me. Yep, here he comes. Boom. Right, he's dead now. Cool. Yep. Oh, no, 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 no. He's not dead. He's not dead. Uh. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Weird how she's pointing a gun right at him. Weird there. Right, um... I might want to change the control back to the original days. The control is slightly annoying. Not the analog stick, the uh, shooting. Yeah, I might just change that real quick. There we are, more handgun am ammo, ammo zines. Ugh, I can't speak today. <sighs> My brain is not functioning properly today. But we're still playing games though. Cool. Right, he's going that way, I'm going this way. Oh, no, no, you're coming this way. Hey, bro. Might as well knock that down while I can. Oh, the dagger. Jesus. Grab it that. Come, pick, 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 pick. Quickly. Go, 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 go. Before the bio catches me. <laughs> right, press that down. There we go, that's enough. Push, push, push. Yes. You think that would do a lot of damage to the uh, dining room table, but obviously it hasn't. Right, oh, I forgot we didn't, didn't examine this. Nope, not combine, exam. Take the thing out. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Yep. Perman's emerald. Em emerald. <sighs> right. Scroll. Come on. Quick, quick. Quickly. Run faster than that. Yeah. Oh, there's the graveyard. That's what I remember. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? 
I take it we ugh, the cameras. Uh, uh, uh. We're gonna get this thing. It's so handy just to be able to use the analog stick to run, but at the same time, it's a bit fiddly whenever your camera angle changes on you. Pick this up. Not gonna save just yet. I could though. I mean, I have plenty of saves. We're not going to run out of saves. Not happening. Alright, let's nip out to the graveyard. Maybe. Oh, the fuck. I didn't open them. What the hell? How did that open? Did I hit? I must have hit the triangle button. Wait a minute. Oh, the R2 button. That's what I hit. Right. Out here freaks me out. Oh. Oh, it freaks me out out here. Anything I can do here with the... Uh, Right, we'll get the we'll get the things on the way out, the way back. The shotgun shells over there, if I remember correctly. Put the thing. Yep. Oh, the thing in there. There we go. So this first part will probably go quick. This first episode, because I sort of remember what I'm doing here in this. After this, I don't really remember. So it'll slow the fuck down. <laughs> and you have to collect things for these, I th remember. I think I remember. Uh, oh, let me examine this. Maybe I could use it on that? Nope. Oh, not necessary to use it. Oh, okay, so this Huh. Ugh. That's weird. Well Lucas Villa Party Institution. You can. Oh, all right. I thought it was going to say to me, can I carry more items? I forgot. Book of Curses. Okay, I'll take that. Keep it. Pause button. Examine. Open. Oh, there we go. Little key. Take the key. And we now have the mansion key. And we got a book. Ah, oh, that's what it is. The four masks. Yeah, there you go. Sees no evil, speaks no evil, smells no evil. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. And we check the key. And we have the sword key. Does it even say that? Yeah, there we go. Sword key. Right, so now we go back out. <gasps> we can't take the shotgun shells. No. Damn it. Well, I have the sword key now, so we can open a few doors. Let's see what any doors up here sort. Uh -huh. Any of these sword key? That's a sword key. Okay. That's locked. Armor. Alright, so that's an armor key, and I think the other one's armor key as well. Alright, we have two choices. We can go that way, which is going to be a few zombies. Or, we can go the more fun way. Which means there's going to be dogs. And a jump scare. Cool. 
He's still locked in there. Just make sure. <laughs> uh, I don't want to go in here. This is the room that terrified me and gave me nightmares. Can you not push these anymore? <gasps> no. Oh no. Oh god. Right, I might have to YOLO it. Jesus. Oh, this is the thing you can push. Oh my god. Pick that up, pick that up, pick that up, pick that up. Pick, 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 pick. What is it? Is it a dagger? Oh, fuck, I need ammo, not a dagger. Oh, this first window's gonna go. Oh, 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 oh. oh my god. I've totally forgotten what happens. Don't shatter. Oh, it's gonna go in this next one, isn't it? Oh, it's gonna go. Oh, it's gonna go. It's gonna go. Hey, handgun ammo. Thank you, I'll take that. Who puts handgun ammo under there anyway? Fucking run for the door. Ah, oh, thank God. I used to actually turn the game off when, um, just unlock that. Some herbs out there. I used to, yeah, turn the game off when that happened. When that scared me, I'm just. Switch PlayStation 1 off. <laughs> now, if I remember correctly, there's a Z in there. Alright, so, let's drain that shit. Pretty nasty thing here. Kill him. There we go. <laughs> and we get a dagger. Cool. So we've got plenty of defense items, which is good. Some people say that easy mode's too easy. I, well, I would agree, but obviously, I did state the reason why I'm doing easy mode. Oh, that just screams it's going to break through. I'm not going in here just yet because I'm not entirely hungry right now and I don't fancy a Jill sandwich. Can't believe I just said that. Somebody in here. Is this door open? I think it is. That's, yeah, this is the door we need. So, we're going to our first save room. Oh, that was a bit weird. There's a zombie here, isn't there? Oh, fucker! Scared the shit out of me, you bastard. So can he come up the stairs? Yep, he can come up the stairs. Oh my god, he can come up the stairs. He's up here. He's not dead. You're not dead, buddy. You are not dead. Yep, equip the knife. When in doubt, equip the knife. Okay, it's not actually that meat. Wow. Really? So he is dead then. Just usually you see the blood. Oh well. Shh, 
Quiet. Right. Take the herb. Can I fit the herb? Nope. Well, we'll drop the other herb in. Right. In we go. Right. So, we have a sea of room. Oh. Wait. And we have been left some nice stuff. What? Wait a minute, what's this? Just put, oh yes, you have to burn. Oh god. I'm not a lot looking forward to that. Well, we've got plenty of ammo, which is good. It's good. We have 75 ammo. I need it. I have OCD. Sorry, it's happening. It's happening. Oh, that gives you ink ribbons as well. Cool. Herb. Herb. Take the knife. I like to make a wee weapon section up here. And then I make like a key section underneath the health. There we go. So we're going to go save. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is our tool for burning stuff. Fuel canteen. We're going to need that though. So we fill the fuel canteen. Uh, still plenty of kerosene left. Yeah, okay. I, hmm. Thought I was on that. About half of it. Jesus, I've used half of it. Fuck me. Many do we get? I only get two out of it. Shit. Right. Yes, we will see of the progress. And this will be the end of this episode. So, as you can see, the mission, dining room. That was when I first launched the game just to test it was working and what it was like. So, didn't play much. Plus, I've already stated I've played up to at least this point anyway in the GameCube version. So, that's why it was so quick. So, see if successful. Let's put the end grabbing back. Ribbon always goes above the first aid for me. Sure, everybody has their own little way of doing things. Now, I will explain Take my herb. I will explain the method of burning, right? The idea behind this is. Face palm. That's what the idea behind that is. Shit. <laughs> right, we need to find a lighter now. Oh, that's not good. I thought there would have been a lighter in here. Obviously not. Oh, well, we will put the uh, fuel canteen in here then. Right, well, the idea behind the uh, fuel canteen is that you burn the bodies of the zombies that you kill because if you don't later on at some unknown point that I don't know I already know that it happens though because I've read up about it they become a, what's known as a crimson head which means a real pain in the ass it's a super fast zombie so you don't want that happen so you have to burn as many as you can and I think that means I only have two in my fuel canteen I only have two like uses of it which is not really an awful lot amount like an, an awful lot only two so anyway that's gonna do it for this video guys hopefully you uh, enjoy the series this is gonna be a very very long series so hopefully you find it interesting at least hopefully I can keep up to at least some sort of a schedule with it just with work at the moment it's it does not leave me a lot of a lot of time I do 40 hours a week so sometimes more I might not seem like a lot to people but you know with 
friends and family and stuff like that it takes up a lot of time so if YouTube ever became a job which would probably never ever ever happen for me if it did then that would be great because then I could actually continue to play the games upload and do great content and stuff but anyway I'm going on a rant rambling away thanks for watching guys and I will see you on the next video. Bye.